now. Don Schwenninger is in the Weather Center with the latest track on Hurricane Irma. Hey, Don. Good afternoon to you, Julie. Good afternoon to you. Let's talk a little bit about Irma and where it's headed. Here is the latest satellite loop. You can see a very well-defined eye still pressing off to the west, now getting closer to Cuba. We look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Max winds 150, gusts going to 185, west-northwest at 14. We see it pulling off to the west toward Cuba, then pulling to the north. It works through Florida Sunday into Monday. That'll kill it off a little bit and knock the intensity down. Still could be a one uh, into a tropical storm on up into Atlanta, then it dies out, and we see some rains out of it, possibly Sunday into Monday. Here's the latest spaghetti model. Notice all of the models pretty well tightly packed here. Uh, they have trended a little further west. That's why the northern part of Cuba is now in this. They are trending a little further west this way, away from Miami. That's not necessarily a good thing because that means Miami will be in the northeast quadrant of this, which means it'll see the highest winds and possibly the uh, tallest amount of water being pushed in in the form of st storm surge. They could see over 20 feet. Then it pulls up to the north. The models stay pretty tightly packed here. They start to spread a little bit as we get out into, uh, this would be Monday night into Tuesday. A couple of the outliers take it north. Most of them stay, though, through here, and that's why the National Hurricane Center's red line kind of goes right through there. But it is going to be a lot of problems. They're going to see a lot of problems down in Florida. Lots of devastation. This is a new uh, tool we're using, an experimental tool called the Power Outage Forecast. You can see almost the southeastern quarter of Florida in the extreme category. They could have extreme power outages down there. The uh, moderate category is all the way up toward Daytona Beach in Orlando. And even Charleston starting to get down with some power outage possibilities as well as those winds really pick up and the waters drive in. We're watching Irma. It doesn't arrive till Monday into Tuesday. Before it gets here, we've got a pretty nice weekend. We'll cover all of this in your seven-day forecast. That's coming up for you in just a couple of minutes. Julie